Hello everyone, so today's video we're in a different angle, so I wanted to create a prayer wall. So I figured I would bring you guys along with this. I figured this could also be a wall where I put verses that I'm trying to memorize. Also just have a spot where I can put up prayers either from people in my life, for myself, um, different Bible verses up and just make it look cute but also functional. So that is the plan for today. So I wanted to bring you guys along as I do that. I will show you the section that I'm planning to turn into the prayer wall. It's over here in like in a corner. And I also wanted to show you guys how I'm making the things that I want to make. So for putting up verses, I want to put up the verses from the scripture memory challenge and I want them to kind of all match. So I'm painting these I'm painting some stuff and I'm going to write the verses on it so that way I can on the back write out the verses but I can look up to it almost like giant verse cards. That's what I'm making. Giant verse cards to put onto the wall so that way I can look at them and actually practice memorizing them for next year and just throw up any other verses that I find that are helping me through my day or God is showing me or that um, just mean something. So that is the plan. And I will show you guys how I created those verse cards now. Chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you read me Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, oh and the sun said it is just get better on a I had them actually sitting under a couple of books to flatten them out But this is just what they turned out like I think they look good I need to just write out the verse now and do that and then they can go up in the corner for the actual prayer wall, I want to write something out, either um, in letters or just a saying, something that's, that lets people know this is a prayer wall. But I also wanted to make it um, confidential in a way, so like if someone asks me to pray about something, but they're not wanting everyone to know, I can put it up on my wall, but it's not like in your face that this is what I'm praying for. So I gotta figure out that. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Let me show you guys the wall. Okay, so this is my very messy desk, and in this corner I have just this wall here that is way too bright. So where the hats are is where I want to put the verses that I'm going to be memorizing. And then on this wall right here, I haven't decided if I'm going to take down this shelf, but I want to put something up here that says like prayer wall or pray without ceasing, something along those lines, and then make it all pretty for the prayer wall. So that is the plan. As you can see, I think I can turn you guys. The prayer wall is going over here. And I just want it to be functional, but also pretty, something nice to look at. So that is the plan. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Hopefully, not that long because my room's a mess and I'm just, you know, trying to get my life together. So. I'm going to finish up the verse cards. I'm going to write the stuff on it. I'm going to write the verses on it. I'm going to write I'm going to write the verses on it. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to put them up on the wall. And then we can go from there. Then I'm also going to figure out how I'm going to title up the wall. I think I might pull out my Cricut for this and maybe cut out the like 
I'm thinking pray without ceasing. I think that's what I'm going to do just to remind me to continually pray throughout the day and not just like have one prayer. Like it's a conversation with God, you know, it's a relationship. We should be praying all day. But, but I also have these things. I'm not really sure what they are. These are like felt pieces. This is like a thick plastic. I'm not sure, but I have a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of these that my aunt gave me and I figured I should use them. So maybe I will get these cut up and put them on the wall. We might just cut the words out of that. Why am I still kind of blurry? So what else do I need to do? So now I just need to do the things. So let's start there. Let's get the things done. Let's work on cutting these things out and we'll see where this goes. Let's get these things printed up let's get things going let's i really don't know how to transition this so so let's get on to the next part it is the next day things happen i haven't been feeling well food has been destroying me so we're just you know coffee's okay water's okay cereal seems to be okay so that's what we're doing but i brought my cricket up here ignore my mess on my laptop i have created the photoshop files or the um png files for the um thing that's gonna say um and it's gonna say praying without ceasing so these are just what they look like and then i can put this into my cricut profile and then i can start getting them cut out so that is what i'm going to do next and hopefully you guys see that and i'm also going to see if i can get my cricut to write out the um the, the things that I wanted to say on my scripture cards, the verses, because I can do that too. But I don't know if I have a white marker for my Cricut. So that might be a problem. If not, I'll just handwrite it. But that is the plan so far and I wanted to share that with you guys. Hello, I'm back once more because I just went and found all my Cricut stuff. And I found all this stuff, let me show you. Let's have these here for reference. Let's have a nicer one for reference. Okay reference but i also have boom how perfect is that like this is what i was going for but clearly the purple got lost but this is this is perfect i'm gonna put that aside just like looking at everything that i have i still think the pink matches so we're just gonna have a random galaxy wall over here which, if it turns out nice, I'm okay with it, so. Okay. But yeah. Why am I not focused? This was extremely stressful. My cricket mat doesn't stick really well because it desperately needs to be cleaned. Um, so I always tape down and a lot of tape and then sometimes pieces pop up and I get worried it's gonna cut it all off and ruin all my hard work but we're okay so far so I'm gonna pull these up and then put the next piece to cut because I have one more piece that needs to cut I, I, I use my Cricut the way I craft is by piecing things together and just making it work um, like my mats desperately need to be cleaned and washed so instead of doing that I just tape everything down and clearly as you can see it doesn't always work so now I'm just going to pop out all the letters. So this is what it looks like. Here's a P. And then this is going to go on the wall and I want to make a black. I want to print out, oh not print out. I want to cut out black pieces of paper to go behind it because I think that will work better. And I'm really rough with everything. So. Yeah, spend my time if I can do this, keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, so now I am going to cut out the last piece and then start piecing this together on my wall just so I can see how it's going to fit and then decide how I want to do the background for the black pieces. 
We figured it out. Nice. And then I can just go in and fill it in. I am trying to be as careful as I can as I peel off the tape around these since they are painted already and so far I only had one rip a little bit so hopefully I can avoid damage to the rest of them. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. We've got a lot done. We finished these verse cards for the most part and I got the titles cut out for my actual prayer wall so I feel like we've made great progress. Um, and I figured this is going to be a two-parter, so I figured I'd just end the first one here and then you guys can see me put everything up on the wall and put it all together in the next video, which will be right after this. Um, the only things that I'm going to do is this one got a little bit um, ripped. It's the only one, so I'm going to perform some paint surgery and fix that. And then fill in the letters with the same marker, so that way it's bold and looks a little better but that is what we've done so far i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see how this all turns out definitely stay tuned for the next video because the next video will for sure be part two of this diy prayer wall so definitely stay tuned for that um subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it so far and i will see you guys in my next one with the completed wall